How are you all doing? Yep, in this video we're going to be working on the landfill bike CBR1000F and we're going to be doing the headstock bearings so let's get on with it so uh, lots of you probably know that's stuck in your frame obviously you have to undo the bolts and if you can see this top this top bearing brace bolt but whoever took this off before me absolutely destroyed it it's got massive dents in the bodywork where the bearing should go so I don't know they must have been hammering downwards instead of hammering on the sides they're just massive craters so these top bearings uh, when you've got these undone they just come off nice and easy but this bottom one even though it's all smashed up should be right down the bottom there and I'll show you what I did to get it off yep all I did was like stuck it in the vice upside down tightened it up uh, great stuff the bar I used is underneath that lot it's just a long but it's just a long thin drift bar uh, you can only see this part of the bearing that's just a paintbrush but say that's the drift what's underneath all that wood all I did was just you know knock it down with the hammer side to side it would came off quite easy actually so that's that so we'll just whip all these top bits off main top bolt little plastic ball that just pulls out like so top knot which again looks a bit rough then we've got this you can see the massive dents in it So hopefully in this box, I don't know if you remember this box, what I got for Christmas from the wife for 21 quid, the free postage, hopefully there's one of them in there. Uh, yes, that doesn't look much better either, the locking washer. We've got the other locking ring dust cover seal here we've got the top bearing it doesn't look bad actually but they've got new ones so they're going on and then the bottom bearing which obviously did look like that before all the bearings fell out let's have a look in the box because I'm pretty sure there is another one of these in there there is but there ain't no fixings on it bloody marvellous that's no bloody good is it yeah, them bearings look quite new as well I don't know if I can repair that or I doubt whether I'll get one online does that go on the top? I think that goes on the top as you can see that's even squashed as well when it's been tightened up I have to try and get a punch and try and punch them out because I don't think I'm going to get one of them online without buying the rest of the bloody triple tree ok then with the help of this I managed to get the dents out there's still scar in there but uh, they're not going to interfere with the uh, dust seal whatsoever just painted it up did come off but it just goes on the top like that I suppose so yes at least that will save me a few pennies a quick update on the back wheel on the uh, black tape where's the black tape gone? Well, I've not got a light here 
keeps bubbling up and falling off. So what I'm going to do is, let me show you the paint I used. What's the paint I used? Poundland, two pound a tin. I thought, oh yeah, that would do. But now I'm just going to give it a rub down and then I'm going to go over it with this. Black gloss, five pound, 45 a tin I think. But you do get 500 mil. So I'll give it a couple of big coats of this. Give it a light rub down and then hopefully the tape will stick. And hopefully uh, that'll give me a bit more time to save some more pennies to get the uh, small lettering of landfill bike somewhere in between the tape. Anyway, back to the job in hand. So let me give this a good clean up and a uh, good painting and uh, Finally, we can get the bearing on. Alright, got it cleaned up. Not do for me. Let's get some undercoat on it. So this is the old stanchion with the bearing off. This is the one I will be using, all nicely painted up. <laughs> so next I've got to get the do bearing onto there obviously and I've come up with a cunning plan so I'm going to shear it. It's probably done by somebody else before. This is the old race off the bearing. What I did do was get a drum sander and bit round it for a couple of minutes. And then when I put that on there, it just falls on nice and loosely. So all I'm going to do is put the uh, dust seal on, then put the bearing on, then put that on top of the bearing. And then, I've got this old GPZ stanchion, which I've marked out to where I'm going to cut it off. And then I'll just go over there, on top of that bearing race, like so. And then when I cut that piece off, those top threads will be showing. So I'll just put the big nut on, and tighten it up, and compress the bearing on. Hopefully. Okay then, so we've had a practice with the old one. Got that bearing on there nicely. I did have to find another spacer to put in. So I had to unwind it, put that spacer in and carry on. It was pretty easy. So let me show you how I did this. Pretty obvious really, but I'll show you on the on the original one we are going to use. Right then, so I did say all that. Now I have to excuse me because I made a bit of a fuck up with the recording. I must have deleted the footage. Bearing is on there obviously. And I haven't got the footage of me putting it on there. Uh, I did pack the grease into the bearing with a palm full of grease, so there is a palm full of grease in that bearing. But uh, somehow I've managed to delete all the footage. So what I'm going to have to do is just keep that on there to keep it clean. Because this is what this video is all about anyway. Is take this bearing back off and uh, 
show you how I put it back on. <laughs> so let's get back to the drawing board. Okay, so now you are going to see this bearing coming off. I'm just going to use this brass chisel. So let's cue the music and cue the time lapse. I didn't take the bearing off on the other one. <laughs> Don't want to destroy a brand new bearing, do I? But uh, there's only one reason you're taking these bearings off. And that is to replace them. So it doesn't matter if you destroy them anyway. So, how did I get it back on? No hammer required. So we put the bearing on. Then we put the uh, other collar on which I have sanded down we can stick that there put the nut back onto there ok then we can get our socket put it on the nut at the top when I got down so far. So let's get that off there, get that off there, get this out of there. Take that off there. And there is our brand new bearing. All bulging out. <laughs> no, we did that when we were taking it off. So that's the third time I've done that today. Yes, I did remember to put the uh, spacer on the bottom, the uh, dust seal, and there's no damage to the bearing whatsoever. Trevor. So that's all perfectly splendid. So there you go, that's how I installed my. Uh, bottom bearing on the shaft with just an old stanchion tube I know not everybody's got an old stanchion tube but they can uh, not, uh, cut up to size and use or even have an angle grinder to cut it up to size so yes anyway I've just used that and uh, the old bearings uh, before we go another little update on the back wheel we've got all that crossed up tape seems to be still sticking so that's all good uh, sorry this video seems to be a bit all over the place here there and everywhere but uh, hopefully it'll all make sense at the end okay so the next job will be uh, well I didn't really want to get the frame in here but I've got to get the frame in here to get the shell bearings out and put the new shell bearings back into the headstock and uh, once the frame's in here, I'm going to put the engine back into it. And uh, once the engine's back into it, it's in here till the wheels are back on because I can't move it. And if I want to do any paint spraying, hopefully the weather has warmed up enough for me to spray outside. So yes, uh, that's about it for this video. Not a long video, but uh, hopefully it's getting anybody some help who's putting their red stock bearings on. They don't want to damage their bearings or shells with the hammer, like the guy doing the uh, GS prize bike. Of course, that'd be like me having to go out to the shops and try and find a bearing because you're that far into the build. Oh my god. So, yes, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay well, stay safe, stay away from any nuclear fallout, and I'll see you hopefully on the next one.
out at four of them break my neck in the shed first. <laughs> I see you in another light, brother. 